introductions. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming back uh, to Social Media Matters. I am super excited to introduce you guys to Alex. He is um, a design intern currently at Sonoda Stylings, and he is going to talk about some really cool tips and tricks about how to use Twitch for your small business. So without further ado, Alex, I'll go ahead and let you reintroduce yourself to everybody. I'll kick this off and I'll definitely keep you updated and let you know if there's any uh, questions from the audience. Okay? okay, sure. I would love to answer any question you have. Uh, so I don't know. Can you see my screen right now? Yes, you are all good. Is it social media matters? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so hello, everyone. My name is Alex. I will be guiding you through the social media matters presentation on Twitch. Now, as I mentioned before, Twitch is a primarily broadcasting streaming service. Um, it is free to sign up and apply for. So what is Twitch? Twitch is a live streaming platform where you develop a parasocial relationship. Uh, me personally, I have had a Twitch account for a while. I've done streaming. Um, I can share some of my experiences with you as well. So what happens in Twitch is you basically sort of feel like your own little island. Uh, so you're by yourself and the more you kind of put out a smoke signal, more people will come to you and gather and will come on a regular basis. So what is a parasocial relationship? A parasocial relationship is relating to the connection or an imagined connection between a regular person and or a fictional character, celebrity, or other public figure. So this means that you may be presenting yourself as a personality or a character, to say, and people will form a connection with you, um, but you may not always be able to connect with them directly. So there are ways around that. I will explain that later into the presentation. But a parasocial relationship is a double-edged sword because you're giving out everything while you're receiving nothing as in personality from other people. They can always interact with you, but you can't always interact with them. You're giving a big net, not a directed net. So think about that as well when dealing with Twitch. Twitch is really fun. I, I cannot stress that enough. Twitch is really fun because you can see other people's comments and you can interact with them. They just can't interact with you on a personal level. So let's move on. How can Twitch help you? So Twitch can help you with building money and building an audience and pulling in uh, larger markets. So how does this help? This helps by hosting a live stream on a constant basis. So what I mean by a constant basis is that it's twice a week, once a week. It could be twice a month. But as long as you're constant and your audience knows your schedule, they will come to you. I personally did a live stream service or live stream schedule for, I believe, four times a week um, for about one to two hours. And depending on how that went, I would do an extra streams uh, for the day. So your schedule is very important. You can update your schedule and it will post on the Twitch streaming service as well. So how can you gain money? This is what everyone wants to know. How can you gain money on Twitch? There are four ways. Uh, there's ads, there's goals, there's monthly subs, and there's donations. So with ads, you get a little small commercial break in between your streaming service. You can control when that ad comes into play. Uh, goals are basically people can donate to you or how many people will subscribe to you. Um, that becomes revenue as well. And the goals, you can say, I want to make $1,000 to donate to a certain charity. It doesn't have to be a charity. It could be toward something that you want. Many people on Twitch do this. They will say, I'm trying to save for a car. 
people would help them. But it's also just a piece of the amount that you can make. There's monthly subs, which is subscribers. Subscribers can always give money. So it'd be a monthly sub. So you can say $5 and it goes by tier. So subs have tiers. So you can start with first tier is $5, second tier is $10, third tier is $30. And with each tier goes up, they have more access to you as a person or to your product. So tiers are also initially important for this as well. So think plan, you have to plan ahead when it comes to your revenue uh, streams. Donations are another thing. So you don't have to be a subscriber or your audience members don't have to be a subscriber when it comes to giving you money. It could just be a simple donation as in, I want to donate $10 to you. I want to donate $5 to you. They don't have to subscribe to you, but they still can give you, you know, your money on a regular basis. Right. Okay, so let's move on. What's the growth rate in Twitch? Well, it started out in 2011 with about a thousand people. And as the years went on, you can see by the chart that it's up to over 150 million people. That means that there's much more chances for your audience to be, sorry, it's much more of your videos and your broadcasting that can be seen around the world by many more people more than just being in the United States or in certain countries. This is a global thing. So your market is, it may be a small business, but your market is casting a very big net, not just in one area, but all over the world. I've, I've seen it myself. Uh, I started with no followers and I gained many followers. Um, I stopped because uh, I have other things I have to take care of. But if I kept going, I would have had maybe over a thousand subscribers by now. But nonetheless, this is your potential growth. It happens in about two to three months. You'll, you'll gain about 50 followers. And over time, it will just multiply and multiply and multiply. So the demograph for Twitch Okay, it's primarily male and it's primarily teens to young adults. People around my age, uh, probably around your age as well, uh, 25 to 34, um, not as much, but there's still a majority of the demograph. Um, not to say that there aren't women on Twitch, there, there's a lot of women on Twitch, um, just that is primarily a male dominated demograph because of the main genre, which is video games. But that's not to say that you can't have other interests and hobbies to express yourself on Twitch. So what makes Twitch different? Twitch is different because it's just a genuine outlet. It doesn't have to be a high production product. You don't have to get DSLRs or red cameras or anything in a high end spec. You can just be using your webcam or your phone. And that's enough just to be there. You don't have to have lights. You don't have to have an amazing background. You can just be you. It's not about the story that you want to tell. It's just you want to talk to people. And that's an amazing thing. Um, but you also have to be careful about your consistency. Everything falls back into consistency and time and scheduling. So it's, if you're not consistent, your viewership will drop drastically and it will take a while to get back to your normal numbers. That's if you do not address that you will be taking a small break or a short break from streaming. So that's an advisable step. Let your audience know when you are going to broadcast, when you are going to take a break, when you're going to come back. It's highly imperative, imperative because you do not want to lose your traction. If you lose traction, then you have to start from 
the beginning again, and no one wants to do that. You have to be committed to this. That's an important part. Okay. So who owns Twitch? Well, Amazon owns Twitch, and Amazon is Amazon. So with that, it means people with like Prime memberships can get a little extra perks, meaning like they can have access to sometimes games and sometimes like little discounts and gifts like that. But it doesn't really affect you as a business or a brand or a market. That's, that's basically it. Um, also, the affiliates are Audible, uh, IMDb, Zappos, Anapuram Labs. Um, this isn't as important as it is for your market, unless you're connected to these. So you can have an affiliated link to Audible or any of these sites. Um, it comes back to you and you can get a little bit of a percentage profit off of anyone buying from these sites. Um, Noted that it's not toward Twitch directly. <laughs> okay. So as a content creator, what will you need? Well, you will need a way to communicate with your viewers, your audience outside of your platform. So that means you can use Discord, which is preferred uh, because you can make servers and you can have moderators, which means people that can control, who can respond, who can't respond. Uh, you can ban or block people for saying inappropriate things, or you can grant people um, higher access to different servers as well. So like you have like the golden server or um, like bronze or silver. So it depends on how you want to dictate your Discord. So think of Discord like your own little, like, you know, your island, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So you want to, you know, make cities and towns and, and it's starting to sound, <laughs> starting to sound segregated, sorry. Um, think of it like a country club. That's, that's the best way I can say. Uh, next is Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. So Twitter and Instagram is much more quick and more time-based. Facebook, uh, their algorithm, I haven't kept up to date with it. But from what I can remember is that it's not by timeline. It's by connection. So I would say Twitter and Instagram are the next ways to stay communicated with your audience. Instagram is pictures, visuals. Twitter is words and captions. And with Twitter, it can become a long uh, string, which is a little interesting. Instagram is mostly comments, so it's not as receptive. It's not as communicative. You ju you're just reading through comments. Um, you can respond and you can interact, but I would say Discord is the best way because it's the closest thing directly connected to you. So <clears throat> as a content creator as well, you get donations to subscribers. So with subscribers, they can receive access to special or custom emojis that you make or you know order. Um, they can also make emojis for you and put them into the chat. Um, yeah. Also, they get priority comments. So that means their comments go on top, which means you'll see their comments first. Donations, they receive messages on screens and you can have voice to audio, I mean, speech to audio. So it'll speak while you're streaming and you can hear it and your audience can hear it as well, which leads to like an interesting dynamic because they can always say something funny or something, you know, a bit more meaningful. It, it depends on how you present yourself and what you want on your stream. Um, personally, I would say just, you know, keep it light, keep it fun. Don't try to take it too seriously unless, no, that's your brand or your market. Okay, the affiliate program. This is where money starts coming into play a lot more. So the, sorry, the Twitch affiliate program allows qualified streamers to monetize their channel as they build their audience and work towards the coveted status of Twitch partner. So for the affiliate program, which means you'll automatically become a partner, um, you need at least 500 total minutes of broadcast in the last 30 days. So that means you have to be constant. This all means you have to be constant. So you need seven unique broadcast days in 30 days. So that means seven days, 500 minutes is it's not possible. So I would say break it up into at least 15 days. 
with at least a total of an hour. Okay, next is on average, you need at least three viewers. So viewers, you know, is an audience, how many people are gonna watch and it can't just be like for one minute or two. Next is followers, you need 50 followers. Simple as that. So they don't have to pay to follow you. They can just click follow and that's it. Okay, next. What is required? So you want to you want to stream, you want to you want to twitch. So you need a webcam or a second smartphone with a webcam app. Um I use, I use Epoch. A sec another one is a stable internet connection. I hope hopefully everyone has. Um you need clear audio and decent lighting as well. Um a computer with the ability to sh uh, screen share is a useful tool and a stats managing program. So a stats man managing application would be like OBS or Streamlabs or Twitch Studio. OBS, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, they all have the same um, application use uh, and same way to install, same way to implement everything. So once you know one, you can use them all and it depends on your preference on UI and design. So I'll go over a managing app. So for instance, this is the Twitch Studios. Um, right now it's still in beta, um, but it's still pretty good. So I'll give a rundown of like the basics. So first you have your stats. Your stats will tell you your session time, your viewer count, your CPU, RAM usage. Um, you also have your um, kilobits per seconds being uploaded, um, your frames per second, your frame drop, it's not too different. It's not too important at this stage. Um, your slow frames, you don't have to worry about, and memory. So memory is also important because it can cause your application to shut down. So keep it low. Uh, next is scenes. So scenes are like, as you can see, like your starting scene, and you can switch in between. You can switch in between them. You can go starting to be right back to offline to Minecraft to you know, different settings. So you can have your game uh, scene and you can have your turning off scene and things like that. Think of it like broadcasting a TV show without having everyone's hands in it. Next is your live feed. <clears throat> your live feed will tell you who's following you and your comments. And then your start button. So your start button is, uh, your start button <laughs> to stream. Um, and that's all I have for my presentation right now. I'll be happy to answer any questions, but. Perfect. So we have a few folks, Alex, after we end everything, if you don't mind sending me um, your presentation, people would love to have it. Um, oh, sure, definitely. It. Uh, I can send it as PDF or as PowerPoint. Either one works. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Um, so we do have a question in the chat here. Um, okay. Tina had asked, can Twitch be used on YouTube as well? Uh, yes, actually it can. So what you can do is you can record your stream and it can be as long as you want it to be. And you can upload the full thing to YouTube. It would be called a VOD, a video on demand. It also gets archived in your Twitch account as well. So anyone can go back and see your past streams. Oh, wow, I'm really dark. I'm so sorry. Um, so, so basically, what will happen is you don't have to upload the whole thing. You can just break it up into pieces, which will actually increase your traffic rate to your YouTube channel, which means you don't have to show them everything. You can show them highlights and don't get them interested. And then it will, you can lead them back to your Twitch channel. So that also increases revenue on Twitch. It also increases revenue on YouTube because YouTube also add, uh, puts ads onto YouTube channels as well. So depending on your content as well, it will be judged on the YouTube algorithm and then you will have ads um, prescribed based on your personality and your content, which means the content that's best suited for YouTube will get the better commercials just like tv or like think of it like you get a car commercial you'll get more pay than you would get like a not well-known brand that gets put on you know your commercial so 
pay both, you will get two streams of revenue rather than just one. Okay, uh, any other questions? Yeah, no problem. Uh, and Tina said, okay, great. Thank you. Um, no and I do have another question here. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about how a small business owner can really best utilize Twitch? Uh, okay. So basically what you'll be doing is you'll be attaching a face to your brand. So that becomes a very bounded thing when it comes to your audience and it comes to your brand. They will know your brand by that person's face and character. So in order to utilize it best for Twitch, it'd be best just to be genuine and just express who you are. If you try and go at it as a marketing plan, it becomes a little more difficult because people want, they don't want to see a business. They want to see a person. So when it comes to your business, don't call it a business. Just say it's you. The best way to utilize it is you can't come at it. You can't come at it like a brand. No, no, I'm sorry if that sounds a little bit confusing. Yeah, I was just about to say um, for the folks out there who who may be trying to, you know, for a lot of folks, um, this is their first time hearing about Twitch. Can you maybe go into a little bit more detail about uh, what does branding you looks like between you and their business? Okay, sure. So branding you, so branding yourself would mean just creating a slightly filtered version of yourself. Let me see if I can give my face a little bit more light. So basically what will happen is you will present yourself in a fashion that is geared toward your brand or think about your brand's, ah, your brand's goals, what you want for your brand and turn it into a person, turn it into a personality. Don't just go, well, my brand is selling cars, so I have to keep talking about cars. Talk about what your goals are. Uh, sorry. Take what your goals are. Take what you want from your company, like what you want to set your image as, and make it into a personality. And then present that personality as it's you. Thank you for that description. I think that that's really helpful. Um, please, folks, if you have other uh, questions keep sending them to me. Um, I'm also yeah. keeping track of Facebook Live people. Exactly. Don't be shy. This is all a learning experience for everyone. Um, I did have a follow up question with that. Oh, we do have, and I'll put that question on hold. We have a question from Eric. Um, he said, you. Is there a particular type of content that is better suited to Twitch? How, can, how best can a small business owner monetize it? Further, what is the range of revenue uh, one can expect? Okay, sure. I can I can answer these as well. So basically, Twitch, like um, was said before, is it's mostly primarily for gaming and streaming. So if you're into games, it doesn't have to be like shooter or action game. You you can do like chess games. There, there are big Twitch uh, channels that do like uh, map searching quizzes. And people just go, oh, that's crazy. How do you do that? So if, if you have a niche, if you have a particular set of skills um, that no one else really has, you can apply that. So basically, it's, it's, it's a gaming channel. It, that's first and foremost. There's, there's no going around that. Uh, second, the revenue. So on average for affiliates, it starts at $250. Uh, every month, depending on if you're an affiliate or not. After that, if you become a partner every month, you can get, on average, a range of $3,000 to $5,000 per month. And that, that's on average. That's not, this is what you're guaranteed. So in order to get that, you need to be well-known enough. So that means you have to be dedicated. You have to put in the work. And in, in your expertise, what does that um, kind of look like in maybe um, subscriber terms mm -hmm. and or um, how often video content right. that people need to publish to meet those goals? Well, happy to explain. So basically what will happen is to 
reach the reach that goal, you would have to keep a daily basis. You have to keep your schedule. Don't break away from it. You have to be able to keep that character or that that business idea of a person. You also have to make sure that you're kind of leading people back to you. So it's not always just streaming. People will find you, but you also have to present yourself like on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Um, not just your content, but this is what this character does on, on a different basis, on an on a off-screen basis, for example. Oh, I'm going to uh, Jamba Juice, for example. It's like, oh, I can, I can connect with that. People will connect more. So you have to find ways, not just in that platform, but you also have to extend your connection outside that platform as well because people are also on different platforms and they want to know that they can always be around your presence. And I, um, there's a kind of a follow-up question on that. Sure. Um, I know that you had said that, you know, uh, while Twitch has started as this gaming platform and is primarily used for gaming, there's other revenues or there's other avenues that folks can utilize oh. this for. Um, can you maybe in your experience tell us how do folks kind of react to some of the videos I've seen on there, such as like kind of like Let's Chat. Um, I've seen folks on there kind of get on the stream and really like talk with their audience. Do you feel like that that is a plus? Is that something that folks shouldn't do? What is your expert advice? Okay, well, my advice on that is that it's a double-edged sword. So the more you talk to people, of course, it's going to connect. They're going to connect and they're going to to want to talk more, but it also can be, you're attracting one or two people that don't understand that difference between on person, I mean, on broadcast person and off broadcast person. So they can just think, oh, this is him. This is this person. I can go find them. I can go to them and I can think it's okay. So you also have to be, I'm not going to say open and expressive about, I do not need you to come to my house and cause a disturbance because that causes not just me, but everyone else in the audience a, a problem. It, it can cause me to shut down my stream. It can cause me to turn off everything. Uh, I become defensive or, you know, it can happen. Much worse matters can happen. For example, some of these streamers, like you had mentioned, um, especially uh, women streamers, they, they get some bad eggs they come to their house and they knock on their doors and they think oh i did this for you so i deserve this relationship or i deserve uh personal communication so i would say uh find that balance between communicating with your audience if you want to make them friends that's okay you can have group meetups you can have social events but make sure that it's in a environment that allows them to understand that i'm still a personality and i don't need you to or not that I don't need you to, but you're not meant to be around my off screen persona. And what would be your advice um, to kind of navigate that conversation for folks who may be online? You know, everyone's having a good time. We're having great conversation, talking about the next meetup. And then we have kind of that bad egg kind of um, saying some hateful stuff or, you know, just inappropriate content. What is your advice for folks out there who is interested in using Twitch for their small business platform to navigate that conversation with those, per, uh, with that type of person? Okay. Well, with Twitch, I mentioned before that you can have moderators. So they're basically like your assistants um, to help, um, you know, guide, you know, everyone to like a safe environment. Um, for you personally, or, you know, for brand wise, uh, you can openly express that I don't condone these types of actions or this type of verbal usage. Um, and I would much appreciate it if you wouldn't use it. If you cannot control yourself, you will have to be uh, removed, unfortunately, from the server or from my channel. And you can access these functions on your streaming management applications uh, where you can ban your, um, you know, your bad eggs. You don't really have to stress yourself about, oh, they're going to keep bombarding me. They're going to keep coming back. No, you can ban them. You can get them away. And you can have your admin or your moderator uh, put in keywords 
that can block certain messages. Thank you. I think that is uh, was a really great overview of kind of how one kind of maybe like start the stream from the presentation all the way through, you know, the worst that could happen could be this, and this is how you can navigate that. So thank you so much for displaying that. Um, Definitely no problem at all. Um, are there any other questions that folks have for Alex? Um, oh, please, please. Yes. Oh, it's okay. I have two cats. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. Um, but is there any other questions, either the Facebook Live folks or um, in Zoom that folks have for Alex um, about Twitch and how it can best uh, utilize for your business? Thank you, Vivian. Yeah, no please. worries. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you. And I'm, we're just going to kind of wait a couple of minutes because sometimes it takes folks sure. a little bit uh, to kind of chat. But while folks are kind of um, either putting their last questions in the chat, Alex, do you mind um, telling folks how they can best reach you if they would like to connect with you to get more information? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, you can reach me by my email. Um, I'll, I'll actually put it into the chat. Um, it's the quickest way to reach me. Uh, you can also find me on LinkedIn with this. Um, I'm not so much on like social medias right now. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll peruse and I'll, I'll, I'll go through it, but I won't really upload or anything like that right now. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of well. Yeah, you're on TV. Okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah, th that's the quickest way to reach me. And if you would like to communicate or chat or, you know, um, ask me for anything else. Uh, I'm a, currently a design intern at um, Sonoda Styling, so I can help you with that as well. Perfect. Well, I am, uh, we have someone in the chat. Saying they don't have any questions right now, but they definitely will later. So oh, definitely. definitely make sure to hit you up. And for the Facebook uh, definitely. folks, don't be I am afraid. going yeah. to, yes. And for the Facebook folks, I am going to drop the, his email in the chat. So that way you'll be able to uh, email Alex with any uh, follow-up questions that you have. And also, you know, as Alex just stated, he's a design intern with Sonoda Stylings, which can help with a plethora of things from websites to debugging, to social media management, to kind of anything under the digital sun. So um, please feel free if you guys are interested in hearing more about their services, uh, feel free to email Alex as well. And oh, I don't think yeah, of course. I don't think we have any other um, questions right now. So Alex, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, have that presentation about Twitch. Again, folks, if um, you all had missed the first se session or kind of missed parts and bits, this video right after this Zoom ends will be available on our Facebook page. So feel free to go ahead and head over there if there's anything you missed. And lastly, I will make sure once Alex sends me the presentation, I'll send you all an email with it. All righty. All Which right. Day? Well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much uh, for joining. I really appreciate it. Oh, Alex, also, for, for, before I forget, oh, uh, yeah. one more thing is with Twitch, you do need a gimmick. So, for example, with me, when I was streaming, um, I would say for every follower or subscriber, I would do 10 push-ups. And my goal was once I reached 50 followers, I would do a thousand push-up live streams. So you can start a goal like that. Oh, perfect. Now, if y'all are in the fitness world and can do it, you know, go for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely not that person. Well, it was just a gimmick, but, so yeah, no worries. Exactly. And and that was, like he just said, just an example. You guys can do many other ones. Um, you know, you can do a little giveaway of maybe your product that your small business has or um, a type of service or, you know, something fun. I'll do, you know, back in the day, the ice bucket challenge was, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so maybe you can, you guys can bring it back, you know? Um, so have fun with it, play around. And, um, if you guys have any other, uh, uh, questions or just kind of just need someone to talk to, feel free to meet, reach out to me or Alex and we'd be more than happy to, uh, talk with you. Okay. And you guys yeah, are so definitely. welcome. Thank you for joining.
Thank you for having me, and I really appreciate it. Um, if anyone really does need help, uh, not just with the questions, but if they really need help, like with designing and the marketing aspects, uh, social media, as well as uh, just you know getting everything off the ground, I'm more than willing to help. Hear that jack of all trades, y'all. So y'all better save that email. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Alex, again, for taking the time out of your day, or I should say night. <laughs> um, yeah, no and, problem at all. Um, and helping educate all of us about Twitch. And I will see everybody in our next Social Media Matters uh, program in April. And that date specifically is going to be April 26th. So if you guys haven't already uh logged on to our website and registered for that event go ahead and do it right after this program so that way y'all can stay up to date on any updates that we may have again thank you so much alex and i hope everyone has a lovely rest of their wednesday thank you, well, thank you and have a good wednesday my dudes <laughs> thank you bye everyone. Okay. Hey, bye <laughs>